Hey guys, super excited to welcome you back to the channel. Today we'll be checking out a video from Charlie Keck titled Charlie Keck Crashes Liberal Gender Activist. So guys, if you're ready, let's get into it. So I grew up, right, um, not particularly liking the LGBT community. And in the past several years, I have turned um, to believe that I, I really like the LGBT community today. And okay. I was going to ask you about a specific person in that community, uh, Ms. Blair White. I haven't thought about Blair White in a while, but okay. Yeah, I mean, she was on the new Jubilee debate. Wait, is it a biological woman who thinks they're a man? I can't remember. She was, she's a trans woman. Okay, so a fake woman. <laughs> so... No, I'm just I, I'm not even sarcastic. I, I, right. I don't, so it's a man who masquerades as a woman. Masquerading as a woman? That... If you were... I mean, there was a debate she had... It's funny if you go to accept Ben Shapiro. If you were the to name. refer to her at a, like a restaurant or whatever, you would refer to her as a, as a woman, right? Well, but, yeah, I mean, you could pretend to be black. You could put blackface on. That doesn't make you black. But I'm just ooh. wondering... I, I, I'm not even... I don't know much about Blair White. So it's a man who wears the costume of a woman. Is that right? I mean, if you believe that value system, then I no, guess... Well, then let me ask you, what is a woman? I watched the, I watched the movie, and it's a... It's a person who needs a man to open their pickle jar. Ah. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> so you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do open my girlfriend's pickle jar. I, I, I can't hear what you said. I do open my girlfriend's pickle jars for her. Still can't hear what you said. I open my girlfriend's pickle jars for her, I swear. Tough guy. It's a tough guy here. So, so, you can't answer what a woman is. That's not what I said. I did answer what a woman was. Yeah, I mean, rather, so that, that's your final answer? It's like, who wants to be a millionaire? That's your final answer? My that's final what a woman answer. Is? So, obviously the Bible says that a woman is a woman, a person with a vagina, obviously. But I do believe that gender dysphoria is a real thing. And scientifically proven. Right. Well, no, no, it's definitely a mental delusion. The question is, is it what they think they are? Is it what they are? Delusion's a strong word. Disorder, sure. But a person with a woman's soul and a man's body is a real thing. Okay, say that one, one more time. A trans woman is a person with a woman's soul and a man's body. Oh, I see. Okay. So you're willing to appropriate the word woman... I guess it does fit your definition because it's a man who could open a pickle jar. So that's kind of, I guess it fits your definition. <laughs> so then you think so lowly of women that you think that someone can just look like one, put on a and, bra mm -hmm. with a dress and makeup and that magically they become, they like enter womanhood. Woman. Well, if they have gender dysphoria, then yes. And I don't think lowly of women. I love them. But how many people gender have dysphoria gender dysphoria? Is Gender dysphoria is a real thing people suffer from, right. but the thing they claim is not real, real. or true. Why? Because there's no evidence for it. I for example, it again. so can you pick your adjectives? Say that one more time. Can you pick your adjectives in life? I mean, obviously not, right? I'm not okay, so then tell me if I'm you like can't the... pick your adjectives, why can you pick your pronouns? Mm. Pronouns are a social construct. You gotta do it one more time. Pronouns are just, like, when you look at a person, you say, hey, this person looks like a man, right? Like the person you, the, the other person, I forgot, was it Joe Bob? I forgot their name. Sure. But he looked at, I think her name was Chloe. This person looks like a woman. She's a woman, right? Yes. If a trans woman looks like a woman, you're gonna call her a woman on first sight because she looks like a woman. Yes, you might incorrectly label somebody that's trying to trick you because they are wearing the equivalent of a Halloween costume because they're suffering equivalent. from a mental disorder. I do believe that they are suffering, and I do believe that... No, no, they are suffering, but let me tell you, yeah. instead of pandering to somebody's torture, we should give them a way out and liberate them with the truth and say that there is a better way forward for you where you don't have to chop off your genitals, get on Lupron, Wait, Get a wait, mastectomy. Wait, wait, wait. I, I didn't hear you. There was a crowd. Can you repeat that? Say that. Can you repeat your, your rambling? And there was a crowd, so I can. Oh, rambling. Okay. All right. Next question. We're done. No, no, no. no. I couldn't hear no, you. No, if you're gonna be a jerk, we're done. Next question. Yeah. Thanks. And by the way, you don't get to pick your adjectives. You aren't very tall, and you can't change that. So next question. 
Wow. Charlie Keg. This man. <laughs> undefeated. Still undefeated. You know, one thing that um, I honestly don't like about these students is the fact that anytime they want to ask a question and then they feel like they are better than the person they are they are demanding answers from i mean if you have better answers then why don't you just stick to the one that you have and then you allow somebody to also stick to his uh, own ideology but you step up here and then you you just like he said these are people who are not well and then possibly they need help so if you that you are stepping up to defend people that you are saying that they are not well why don't you let us hold hand in hand with each other and then we find solutions to some of these problems because um charlie Keck honestly doesn't have a problem with uh, possibly you identifying as um, belonging to a particular group or the other but his problem here is the fact that um the emotional trauma and possibly the mental issues that they deal with you have to cut off your genitals and then you have to be dependent on medication just to um, successfully transform into that kind of phase that you want to. And it comes with a lot of side effects that affect you, the individual, the family, society, and then every exactly aspect. The yes. So I just feel like um, possibly nowadays the college students that are unlike before that people actually um, decide to go through the system. And then they get themselves well educated like things that has to deal with biology and then all that they allow themselves to really understand but it just feels like um possibly nowadays the college students only um stick to things that they hear from their colleagues or um they want to join a particular group you, because they you'd feel be like this is... that you'd be surprised to know that they are gay professors gay uh, 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 lecturers who are teaching these young teens or these young guys this narrative of life the guy is speaking like somebody who has really listened to some of these professors if you listen to these gay professors online you get to know that most of them this is how they speak this is the kind of narrative they carry and this young champ this young king is on his way of defending them which is not the right path to go exactly he and i i feel like you can clearly tell the difference between when he was possibly at home undergoing training from parents and then now that he's away from all those things because he was clear about the fact that i mean um, i used to have this kind of perception against them but now i stand for them so now that your parents are no longer there to put you in shape and then all that you feel like everything that uh, comes your way should be accepted just like that this 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 kind of education is miseducation you know whenever they come at charlie and uh, charlie like this just know that it's because of already their mentality oh he doesn't have a college degree that's how that's i feel that's the the the, the but, kind of yes uh, that's thing what they, they feel mechanism. yes that oh so they can just throw no but you don't need uh your intelligence level mm -hmm. is not measured by your college degree yeah. just like i said i just feel like majority of us are just going through the school because um, society demands of us possibly before you get a better job in the society or anything you need a college degree or something like that that is why most of us are going to school but to actually go to school and then um, go the extra mile to do research and then to actually defend some of these things that have existed in like a very long time we don't want to do that so anything that is being thrown at us we just accept it like that and then that is what we move around with within the society guys let us know what you think about this video in the comment section let us know let us engage let us learn together yes whatever we are saying we are not saying it is 100 percent right whatever charlie is saying we are not saying it's 100 percent right mm -hmm. so let us learn in the comment section let us get to understand life and let's all make the world a better place to be yeah. until next time i'm danny reacts i'm wohemina i will swear you're number, number one, one music, music fix. fix see you bye